All right, fight fans, here we go. Now in the cage. Okay, Tizo froze. Javel McKenzie. Froze a representative of Lozio Silva Jiu Jitsu, second guy we're seeing tonight from that camp. And Javel making his debut at a systems training center. You know, systems training center has a lot of great fighters right now. So both of these men are gonna prove from each camp. So Javel definitely has a reach advantage. We're gonna see if he uses that to his advantage or, or whether or not he wants to take this to the ground. You know, he's, he's uh, using, using his uh, jab very effectively right now, Javel. Keeping nice distance. Froze using good head movement, trying to find the right time to get in and, and land his shot. You know, he's southpaw, actually. Nice leg kick lands. Right hand from Froze lands. Others feeling each other out a little bit. Both seem to be content to stand in bed. You know, if you're fighting a southpaw, you need to, you know, you need to get in front of that leg, in front of the outside of that leg. Exactly. Froze. Froze confidence building as he feels the power of Javel and decides to keep moving forward. And he's not backing away, so. Javel, nice inside leg kick from McKenzie. Froze having trouble finding the distance here with McKenzie with that reach advantage. Another inside leg kick. If Javel, like, he keeps, he keeps getting that leg, he's gonna chop it, he's gonna chop it, and just work it, keep working it. Eventually, it's gonna affect the other opponent. Mackenzie misses with the left leg kick. Froze trying to find an opportunity. Eats a right hand and a strong left hand. Nice head movement, misses with the hook. I'd like to see Froze maybe go after that lead leg for a single leg attempt. I don't know if he's com comfortable on the ground, but he is wearing a jiu jitsu short, so I assume he's uh, nose his way around a little bit. I think both of these guys want to keep it on, the, you know, on their feet. I don't think they have a mindset of going into the ground at all. Froze eats a left hand. Mackenzie really finding the range with that left. Misses with a big hook. Great. Great first round for both fighters. I, I'd have to give it to Mackenzie. I think he landed uh, more shots, He's keeping the distance. Uh, Froze. Showing tenacity though, moving forward, using good head movement, he avoided a lot of big shots. He's not backing away, he's not backing away from Javel, so no. I, I mean, I think Tizak needs to, you know, keep him from outside of that, that lead leg from uh, Javel, so. Again, I, I know uh, Froze probably wants to keep this standing based on what I'm seeing, but. I'd like to see maybe his camp advice, you know, go downstairs with McKenzie's moving forward, trying to land that straight left. Shoot it on that single or double. I think if Javel keeps attacking that leg, you know, just the inside leg and adds a, you know, a couple a couple shots after that. That could pay dividends for him. Yes, very. And I think both of the both of these are gonna I think they're gonna they're gonna keep it standing up. Looks like he might have a little swelling above his above his right eye. You know, Tizak, they call him the storm, and I, you know, I pretty much see why. Yeah, he's a fireball. Javel not phased by it though. He's moving in and out. Nice inside leg kick again. I'd like to see him throw that in and come with a straight right. Javel, Javel is still leading up with that that jab, setting it up. That's how you're supposed to do it. Another inside leg kick lands. Throws knots it off. Another one. Missing with the right hand. Can't seem to find the distance. To oh. techniques to be careful. You know, sometimes you know the fighters goes inside leg, inside leg, and then tricks you. So and go upstairs. Nice inside leg kick from uh, from Froze. Pawing the jab, 
is McKenzie throws the left leg kick, misses. Froze seems to want to counter. It looks like he might be looking to counter a punch to come with a heavy right hand. There it is. Nice fake. You can tell if he landed or if it was a slip, but he's got McKenzie on the run, chooses to back off and reset. You know, Tizak didn't didn't hesitate to go to go forward when he was down. So nice push kick from uh, McKenzie. Calling it the jab, got the left hand nice and high. Inside leg kick, touches the knee. Throws waiting for his opportunity. Loading up that right hand, throws it. Javel's definitely combo. slowing down a little bit. Nice left hand lands for McKenzie. Fighters standing right in front of each other. Big right hand lands on the back of the head. McKenzie shakes it off and moves forward. Lands a high kick to, to finish off the second round. I think Tizak definitely needs to let his hands go a little bit more. Yeah, he's a little tentative now. I think the distance and the reach of, of McKenzie is bothering him. Yes. You know, I don't, really, I don't see a lot of people going into the, you know, going to the inside, um, staying in the booth type of thing. You know, uh, I think that would work wonders for Tizak right now. I think he probably wants to do that, but McKenzie's doing a nice job of bouncing back when, uh, when, when Froze tries to close the distance. Yeah. Uh, towards the end, it looked like Froze was looking to counter and, and load up that big right hand, uh, but could, couldn't get it to land. So who do you give that last round to? I gotta give it to McKenzie again. McKenzie. Yeah. All right, corners are exiting the cage. Round three about to kick off. You know, it's very tough to fight a softball. Very, very tough. Both fighters look like they have plenty of gas in the tank, although they had slowed down a little bit. I see a little bit more action from Tizak right now. You know, let's see what the third brings. Froze is going to have to do something big this round. He needs to either start landing on the feet or try to get this fight to the ground. Straight left. Lance flush. Oh. Body kick from McKenzie Lance. He's just guiding him right now. Froze having a tough time finding, finding range. Throws a body kick. Kenzie's stalking, confidence building, is moving forward. Missing with the left hand. There's a shot by Froze. Shucked off by McKenzie, but Froze not giving up. And decides to reset. Fighters back to their feet. Great defense, great defense by McKenzie. Yeah, nice take down defense, shucked it right off, got the fight back to the feet, which is where he wants it. Froze loading up that right hand, it looks like again, trying to find the distance, eats a nice left hand coming in. You just have to be careful not to swat that, you know, this is gonna be a fake. Open hand left hook for McKenzie, another left. Left uppercut, seems to be getting off now. Oh. Big left hand. Froze has got to get inside and land something powerful, he's just eating shots on the outside, nice inside leg kick. Kenzie has to be careful not to get too confident here and eat a, eat a big right hand coming in. So he's like, he, I think he just needs to let his hands go. It's going to be 18 seconds in the last in the last round, so I think he just needs to let him go. Yeah, 15 seconds left in the round. Tizak needs to let it all hang out at this point, but I feel like he's eating some big shots and doesn't want to get knocked out. Another big left hand. McKenzie looking to swarm and finish impressively. Body kick. Great fight for both of these men. Froze put it all on the line, but it, I think that one's going to go the way of McKenzie. Landed the more significant strikes, controlled the distance. Strong effort by both opponents. Yeah, it's very hard. I, you know, very hard to, to fight somebody with such a long reach. 
Yeah, that was a decisive reach advantage. Yes. That Mackenzie had. Uh, Tizo just couldn't seem to overcome it. Shot for one takedown attempt. I think it was really disheartening for him when he, when he missed it. Yes, long legs, you know, long reach. Can't really get around that. The best you could have done was just get inside and just fought from the inside. Congratulations to Training Systems out in Hawthorne. Yeah. Jim out of the South Bay. Tough, uh, tough camp of fighters out of that gym. You know, it's crazy. Talking to Tizak, he's, he's actually a little bit better uh, on the ground. So, you know, it, it was surprising to see that he didn't go for any, any type of, um, well, he did go for a, a takedown, but it just won. You know, it was very surprising that he actually kept it on, the, on their feet. Yeah, I think he decided a little late to, to, uh, to take the fight to the ground. Uh, I don't know if he'd have been successful there had he gotten it there. Uh, you know, I don't know what Mackenzie's got on the ground, but he certainly shucked off that, that one attempt fairly easily. But, Very you know, that was, a, that was a tired uh, Tizo, you know, at, at that point. Yeah. Had he shot him when he was a little more fresh, he might have had um, greater, greater success. You know, he might have had a better shot at getting it to the ground. Send it up to Big Jim here for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our scorecards. We have our decision. All three judges ringside scores about 30 to 27 in favor of our winner by unanimous decision, the Blue Corner.